Hey everyone, Tony Walsh here. Welcome back to the channel and another edition of uh, Farm Truck Friday. <clears throat> uh, don't have any praises this week that I could think of, even though we need to be praising Jesus Christ every chance we get because every day we get to wake up and take a breath. You know, we need to be thankful for that because he's allowed us to live for that moment in time for another day. So with no praise requests, uh, again, I just want to say thank you for everyone that uh, <clears throat> stops by, everybody that leaves a comment. Uh, I, I wish we'd get more prayer requests, so please feel free to leave me a prayer request in the comments below. Send me an email to jmwalshfarms.com, um, uh, just however. Uh, so let's get right into our list. So the first one, and this is one, and a couple of these we have prayed for several times before, so we're going to continue that. But this one comes from uh, Page Family Homestead, Our Journey Back, and that's, you know, Andy and Peggy Page. And, you know, Andy's been battling uh, a couple of different things. So they haven't posted a YouTube video now in a couple of months, so it's hard for us to tell them that we miss them when they don't post videos. But Peggy posts regularly on Facebook, so if you don't know, if you don't have her on Facebook, you know, go, go hunt her down, uh, and, and just become a, a Facebook friend with her, because we need to be sticking by each other. Uh, they may live in Canada, but their government sucks just like our government sucks in the United States. So we, as the citizens, the the grassroots, low class people, need to be sticking together because our governments are doing their best to stick it to us. So I see I already digressed into political banner. Uh, but anyways, uh, Peggy made a post earlier this week that uh, she was taking An Andy back to the hospital because the lead wire to his nephrostomy, and I don't know what that is. I didn't look it up before I started making this. But anyways, the lead wire was installed wrong and is leaking. So, and I know nephrology has something to do with his kidneys, so I, I do know that much from my medical days. But anyways, uh, she hasn't updated since she made that post earlier this week. So, Peggy, I just hope everything's all right with Andy. And just more importantly, know that our prayers are still with, with both of y'all as y'all move through life. Uh, the next one, and this guy is a character. He's also from Canada. Uh, his name is Gary, and he's, his channel is GBL, the old, five, the old church five-acre homestead. Uh, if you don't know Gary, you need to get to know him. Uh, quite, quite the character, and I mean that in a good way. Just, you know, funny to watch and to, to listen to. <clears throat> but anyhow, Gary is in his last year of teaching and uh, being an assistant principal and all that. You know, so as we get older, we start looking forward to retirement, but... We know as we get older, you know, our, our bodies start falling apart. So uh, Gary, uh, his school days are winding down, and he does a video every week of his last week of teaching. And I think he's on 22 or 23. I'm, I can't remember now. Uh, you know, so like Monday would or Friday, as you're watching this, he would have already posted a video this morning. So go watch it uh, about his... 24th week his last 24th week of teaching school but anyways as those days wind down gary and he looks forward to retirement now he's looking forward to and probably not liking it but looking forward to some possibly some hip surgery so uh gary's a go-getter likes to move likes to do things and th this hip issue has really slowed him down so Gary, we just uh, want to pray for your uh, ease of pain on that hip, my, my friend, and just hope that comfort can take over your body. And hopefully uh, Miss Betty's not having to listen to you whine too much. And that's what my wife would say about me. I whine too much when I'm sick. Uh, oh, see, see, she heard that. She's on the other side of the door and said amen, so evidently I'm talking too loud. Uh, so anyways, uh, the next one is Mary Ranch. We pray for Mary several times, uh, but Mary's health is just not doing her any good. Uh, so we just need to keep Mary in our prayers uh, for her health. Now this, this next one, awesome guy, great Christian man, 
just an all around awesome guy. And I do not know his first name, but uh, his channel is Soybean Farmer. And uh, you couldn't ask for a better example of what a human is supposed to be than Mr. Soybean. So uh, he, he's battling cancer. So just go check his channel out. Uh, just just give, give him a hello. But more importantly, I know he'd appreciate your prayers. <clears throat> and the last one I have for this week is a small channel, but uh, uh, right here in the town next to me. Uh, and the channel name is Down South Outdoors. And there are a lot of Down South Outdoors. So you're going to have to look in the description to hit that link to find the right one if you want to go check him out. But uh, Billy Hunts and Fishes uh, on his channel. Uh, traps wild hogs and, and all sorts of stuff. But again, Billy is a former co-worker of mine uh, at the hospital in Waycross. But he sent me an email asking a prayer for his wife, Beverly. Uh, because she was in the hospital. Now, Beverly's, Be Beverly, Beverly is a former co-worker of mine, too. Uh, he works in the emergency room. She works in radiology. Uh, so, worked with both of them every day. So, uh, but Beverly had been in the hospital, and uh, she she got out on Valentine's Day. But even though she's home, you know, she she still needs our prayers. So, so let's uh, keep Beverly in our, in our thoughts and prayers. And I think think that is all. I've, I've looked at all my notes, that, that the notes that I could find uh, in, in screenshots, so, and I couldn't find any more, so if I missed anyone, please accept my apology because I sure didn't mean to miss you. Of course, and then finally, let's pray for our country because, as I said when I opened this up, our, our country needs prayer because we're, we're in bad shape with our leadership. Both sides of the aisles. I'm not, I'm not calling either side. Uh, Democrats and Republicans, Republicans both suck. Uh, and I say that as the chair of the local Republican Party. Our government sucks. Um, but anyways, regardless of that, we're all still Americans, so we still need to be praying uh, for our country. That hopefully some of the people will find Jesus Christ and put, put him in their hearts. So with that... Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, again, Lord, just thank you for being that loving Father you are. Lord, we just uh, come to you as your children, Lord, just humbly asking for your love, grace, and mercy on all of our brothers and sisters. Lord, we just ask for your protection over our homes, our families. Lord, where you know you're the great physician, the great healer, the great comforter, Lord. So we just ask you to bless those that need to be blessed, comfort those that need to be comforted. And if it be your will to heal those that need to be healed. And Lord, specifically, Lord, just uh, Andy with his issues and, and Peggy as she has to carry him back and forth. Uh, with uh, Gary is, is his hip pain. Lord, we just ask for relief on that. Uh, Lord, with, with, with Sister Mary, Lord, she just got, you know, just ill health. So, Lord, just be with her and comfort her and bless her as well as uh, Mr. Soybean. He, he is a, Lord, he is a humble servant of yours, Lord, and he just, uh, he expresses that love for you constantly. So, Lord, we just pray that you will be with him and guide him through this journey that, that he is on. And, Lord, last but not least, Lord, we just live up, lift up Beverly to you, Lord, just asking for your healing hand and your touch on her. For whatever her issue may be, Lord, that you heal it to whatever your will may be. And finally, Lord, we just lift up our country, a country that desperately needs your help, needs your guidance. So, Lord, just be with us, guide us, and protect us. And we ask all this in the holy and precious name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Now that light that changed is my... Last week my printer kicked on, so this time my computer screen decided to go in screensaver mode. And it usually doesn't do that, so that's why the light changed uh, if you was watching. So that ends our video for this week. So uh, again, check the description for the channel links. 
look at the community tab for the prayer list from the last couple of weeks because I always run run that list on my community tab because we don't need to forget about those. There's several on there that still need our prayers. Uh, the African Lion, uh, Unpaved Explorer. Oh, Lord, I'm trying to think of some others that are on there, but there's several on that list that need our prayers. So don't forget the community tab. So that's the end of today's video. Again, I thank all of y'all for coming by just to want to support the channel but more importantly i appreciate you to come by and hopefully you'll pray for these folks because one day if you need it i'm here for you and everybody else is here for you so y'all take care and god bless